As an English major with a concentration in African American literature and culture, read a lot about uh, this era of American history. Uh, read slave narratives, uh, escaped slave narratives uh, from that time period. And then our uh, creators, uh, Misha Green and Joe Pekaski, uh did a lot more of that reading in preparation for writing this show. And uh, uh, even though a lot of our characters are fictional, uh, with some uh, non-fictional characters mixed in, um, all of the events they described uh, are based on a reality of what was happening in the mid uh, 19th century. The Underground Railroad is sort of like a myth that a lot of kids maybe hear about or something's mentioned, but the real story is never really been told. Um, it's really great to be a part of a project that gets to tell the other side of that story in a very honest way. We get to see the true contribution that these people put in, in terms of what this country is today. You know what I mean? um, for so long, you know, the Underground Railroad has just been about the. Uh, it's been a, a page, then a paragraph, then a sentence, and, and a book. It's always been in a museum, and now it's we're finally in a place where we can show and talk about it more, and people can feel it in a different way. I think it's important that we're adding Harriet Tubman, uh, important that Frederick Douglass, who I played uh, briefly, uh, made an appearance as well, because I think it connects uh, kind of the uh, surface level knowledge that most people have about that movement uh, with our show. Um, but I think what the power of the show is, is to really delve into uh, how interesting this movement was, this Underground Railroad movement, the uh, abolitionist movement, um, how um, strategic it was, how dangerous it was, and um, how much uh, people who came before us risked their lives for freedom. I mean, it's timely, it's, it's perfect, it's relevant, um, it's needed, and uh, it's very empowering to be here, to be amongst all of this great history, um, the good, the bad, and, and the ugly. Uh, it, it's, it's an honor, and I, I, I definitely don't take it for granted. It's not like just going to a movie theater, you know what I mean? This has a lot more weight to it, and I'm, I'm, I'm just excited to be here. The first season chose to show these people and this culture as human beings. Most of the times we're not shown these people as human beings and we don't realize it. Subliminally it happens and we don't even notice it, but they're shown as things. They're shown to be slaves. You know, you take on the name slave, you're taking on a title. This is your job, this is who you are, it's what you do. But in the first season when we show that these people have been enslaved and we call recognition to that, it shows that someone has done something to them. It gives accountability and says that these are human beings with souls and Americans are enslaving other Americans. This is a problem. We got to do something about it. And when you come to uh, a museum like this, this is, look, I go to museums all the time. This is absolutely hands on the best museum because this is not African American history. This is American history. This teaches you about politics and policies that have been set up today. This teaches you about how our economy has been set up and what we still benefit from today in terms of enslavement. So it gives you the knowledge to actually make a change. I think every single child in the world needs to come to this museum.